Let's go. All right. So, Kerala, the way of the elephant. So, it's a tile laying game. So, as you can see, everybody starts. They have their own tile. You know it's their own tile. It's colored, as you can see, there. Everybody also starts with two elephants, and the elephants will start standing up. And you know what? These are pretty. Why don't we just start with them laying down, and then if we have to pass, we'll stand them up, because it'll make it easier for you guys to see. So they're going to start laying down on their tiles, resting, if you will. And these are the six different tiles that are going to come from the big bag of mystery, i.e. the random draw. So the goal of the game is victory points. There is a cool little handy-dandy little score pad that is really w white, that you guys will just have to take my word for that everything makes sense on there. We'll go through that here shortly after we talk about how to play the game. So the game takes place over some number of rounds. I suppose I could count them, but I haven't. There are a number of tiles in this bag, and they're in a three-player game. We actually removed, I believe it was 10 of the tiles in a three-player game of the non-player colors, non-player colors being red and black. So on a player's turn, and Greg has Schwazi, we'll figure out who the first player is then, they're going to randomly draw three tiles from the bag. And of those three tiles, they may choose one to then place orthogonally adjacent into their own tableau. In addition to that, of the tiles that get drawn, it must be orthogonally adjacent to one of their two existing elephants, and then an elephant must move onto that tile. Easy enough. I mean, that is the mechanism of the game. That's it. You are allowed to pass twice during the game. If you choose to pass, the tile will stay out here for the remainder of that draw, and then after all the players have chosen, that tile gets discarded out of the game. If you pass, you stand one of your elephants up. Normally, it's the opposite. You would lay them down, but again, because the camera's overhead, we're doing it the opposite. So you can pass up to two times during your turn. And I'm going to take them off just so you guys can see the tile. So on a given turn, say these are the three tiles that get laid, then you must place orthogonally adjacent to one of your elephants. So in this case, maybe I place it here, and then I must move that elephant onto the newly placed tile. So there you go. Honestly, the best way to teach it at this point is to now go over how final scoring works so that it gives context as to what and why you're going to be drafting the tiles that you're going to be drafting. So let me go ahead and bring up the other camera, if I can do so, and see if this one's a little bit better for the score pad for you guys. Bring that out and... There, there we go. That looks a whole lot better. So let's go over how final scoring works. So you're going to be placing these tiles into groups of tiles and your highest scoring group is going to count the number of elephants that is in that group. So for instance, if I were to place something along the lines of this, I have one group of purple worth four points. Okay, easy enough, right? Then I would also have a group of blue uh, for, with three points, so on and so forth as you can see there. So that's pretty simple for those five pieces of scoring there. Now, you are allowed to have one group of each color, except you're allowed to have two groups of your own color. So me playing purple, I can actually have two distinct groups of purple like such without a penalty. So if I were to get some more tiles out here and I had two distinct groups of purple, like so, at the end of the game, that's okay, there's no penalty. However, if at some point I had two different groups of tiles that were not my own color, I am now going to score negative two points for each tile that I is not of the main group of that color. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so easy enough. So in this case, I would flip this one over at the end of the game, that would score me negative two points because I can't score that one, but I would score three positive for the blue there. All right, so that's what we have here. Here, you must have a group of every color to avoid the penalty. There are five colors in the game. You must have all five. If you do not, you lose five points for every color that you do not have a group of. A group of is of a single tile, easy enough. For every elephant that hasn't had to pass, 
you score a point, so one, zero, one, or two points on that. And then these special tiles. Well, let's go ahead and talk about all of the special tiles that are in this game. And there are essentially three different special tiles. Let's move these out of the way, make it clear for you guys. Let's say it's like so. And I have an elephant there, I have an elephant there. So on your turn, when you draft, the three special tiles, we'll go ahead and talk about this one with the move and elephant. So again, normal rules apply. You must place orthogonally adjacent to an existing elephant and then move the elephant onto that new tile. But then you can take your other elephant and move it anywhere on any tile that you want. You just can't move the elephant that's standing on the new tile. So the other elephant, if your tableau gets huge out here, you can move them from here, way up here, however you want to do. Easy enough, right? All right. And it doesn't score any points at the end of the game, but it does count as a black tile for the black group, okay? Now, this one is works just like the elephant one, except it's with a tile. Now, you cannot move a tile that has an elephant on it because, you know, elephants are heavy. So what I could do, though, if I want, is I can move any tile in my tableau uh, if I wanted in... Honestly, I could move, say, something like that. And if this were already like this, if I wanted, I could move this tile and move it there and leave that on an island. But to be able to get that elephant to move, I would have to place orthogonally adjacent next to them. Now, that covers those two special tiles. This one, however, when you place it, it counts as the main color of what it is, and you place your elephant on that tile. And it scores zero at the end of the game, or if it's its own group, in a second group, it would score negatively for you, just like a normal tile. However, if you fill the semicircle with the appropriate colored tile, this in this case a black tile, that tile will score five points at the end of the game. Cool. However, scoring takes place in order. What I mean by that is we're going to score these top to bottom. So anything that is not in a, of a group. So in other words, if I had two different groups of black tiles out there, and give me a moment while I set this up. And now I can't find any tiles. There we go. So let's say we had something along the lines of this at the end of the game. Well, in theory, I would want to score this because that's going to call, uh, get me four points positive, and then I would lose two points for this tile, right? But if I choose to do it that way, that now negates the five points that I would get from that because this is of a second group and I am not the black player, so I cannot have two groups of the black tiles. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. So I may choose to actually forego those four points, and score negative four to be able to score the, the five points from that. Okay, mm -hmm. easy enough. All right, that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I need to talk about is overbuilding. So on your turn, if I wanted, for whatever reason, if say I had my elephants were like so, and I wanted to go ahead and place this tile somewhere, I could, if I want, overbuild on a tile for whatever reason, then move and always the additional option is always a may. So the tile and elephant movement is always a may, so it's optional. However, if whatever tile you choose to cover up does not score at the end of the game, and this can go up as many tiles as necessary. However, overbuilding doesn't necessarily. It can be beneficial in the right instance, but you're covering up potentially other points, but it also could cover up screw-ups. So for instance, if my elephant were, I can't think of a good example. Uh, let's say I had that and I had this and my elephant were there. So maybe I do something along the lines of, oh, I overbuild this. So now I don't have two green groups, but I still move that elephant over onto that tile. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. That is Corella. That After the bag's empty, we go into final scoring. Final scoring again being that whoever has the most points wins. Easy enough. Cool? Cool. Yeah. All right.